Hey friends, Jill Heinerth here. I thought I'd uh, share with you a little scuba tip today. So if you've ever been on a dive and you've started to have a little bubbling free flow out of your second stage, this is something that I see an awful lot on boats. So oftentimes I'll see people with a little bit of a free flow and they assume that because there's bubbles coming from the second stage, that the issue is in the second stage. And that's not necessarily the case. So there's a really good thing that you can add to your toolkit called an intermediate pressure gauge. And this is just a very small pressure gauge with a special function. It actually reads from zero to 300 PSI and it will snap right into your BCD inflator whip. Now, we don't go diving with it, though. This is just a diagnostic tool for using when you're topside. So if you're getting a little bit of bubbling coming out of your second stage, it might be because of an issue in the first stage. And this is how we actually find out. So put your first stage scuba regulator onto a full scuba tank and then insert this little intermediate pressure gauge into your uh, inflator whip and then take a few breaths real quick <laughs> and what you want to see is that needle sort of land and lock in place. Every first stage has a particular specification for the intermediate pressure in the first stage. So tank air at high pressure, 3000 PSI, is broken down to an intermediate pressure in the first stage. And that pressure might be between 135 and 145 or so. Every regulator has its own spec. So by actually hooking up this little intermediate pressure gauge, breathing real quick, and then looking at the gauge, you should see it land within that range of specification for your particular regulator, probably 135 to 145 PSI. And when it locks in place after a breath, it should stay still. So it'll, it'll wobble a bit, like just a little bit when you're taking a breath, but then it'll lock back in place. If the needle doesn't lock, but it just continues to drift higher and higher and higher and higher, what that means is that there's some gas that's actually slipping by the high pressure seat in the first stage. And it's coming downstream in the hose and it's actually pushing that fail safe second stage lever valve open. And then you're getting a little bit of trickle. So when you have a bit of a free flow in your second stage and you've actually seen that needle drifting higher, like plus seven PSI or more after locking up after a breath, then that means that it's time to service your first stage of your regulator and replace that high pressure seat. This is something that's done annually by um, your scuba techs that service your regulator and they do everything in your regulator. They do the first stage, they do the second stage, they check the inflator, hopefully they're checking your BCD as well. So this is something that's generally replaced annually, but there are some times when these seats, because it's a soft material, um, when these seats can actually wear out a little bit, causing some air to go downstream to the second stage. Now, um, this is such a great diagnostic tool to figure that out that, you know, I think it's a good thing just to have inside your kit. But again, don't take it diving because when it's time to go diving, you'll have to take this off and you'll have to plug in your uh, BCD inflator instead. So good tool to have, a uh, good thing to know about how your regulator works um, because when you have a little bit of knowledge, it helps you make good decisions and it's never a good decision to jump in the water with something that's broken already. So stay safe, get your stuff serviced by someone that knows what they're doing at a scuba shop that can give you um, proper manufacturer's parts and hopefully uh, maintain your warranty as well. So see you next time. Take care.